After all, you studied for 42 hours in total and you are so ready for the exam. And you feel why? You can study forever if studying is dislikable. If our body is a machine that it needs fuel and maintenance to be able to produce a desired product, it can increase your productivity up to 23 percentages. Hello everyone, my name is Anna Deng. I'm a first year student at the University of Otago in New Zealand. In my first semester, I have achieved all eight results for my science papers. So I would like to give out some advices that I have been testing out since only high school until only university about effectiveness in study. People usually talk about studying technique when they mention studying effectively. However, however, there are other essential things that can help us to reach our academic goals which are not discussed around enough. Now, imagine you study for 18 hours a day and then you take a rest for the next 3 weeks because you felt so drained and completely hated it. And your exam is coming in the next 2 days and you are so underprepared. Then, imagine you're only studying for 2 hours per day, but you do it consistently for the next 3 weeks. After all, you study for 42 hours in total and you are so ready for the exam. And you feel why? You can study forever if studying is dislikable. They show that consistency helps us to achieve effectiveness in studying without feeling burnt out and getting into that dead state when we are preparing for the exam or the assignment. Research by George Smith from the University of Nebraska Lincoln College of Business backed up this point. The study showed that employees will achieve better performance and a better mental well being when the challenging tasks are given to them consistently and stably. This means consistency is a key to achieving a good performance while still maintaining that mental well-being that we always want to protect. Besides that, consistency can help us to build good habits which can then contribute to our ability to achieve the academic goal successfully. Which leads us to point number two. If our body is a machine, then it needs fuel and maintenance to be able to produce a desired product. Then, for us, fools are having enough sleep and eating a nutritious diet while maintaining a healthy and regular exercising. These things are significant for our studying process because it they give us more energy to be able to study more sustainably and meeting the deadlines on time. Evidence is an article from How I show that moving more, getting more sleep, and eating a nutritious diet can increase our energy and decrease fatigue. In re relation to the post five, consistency can help us to eating our nutritious meals more regularly having more sleeping hours because now we're scheduling them into our calendar and also have more amount of time for exercising because we now having daily habit or weekly habit for it. Besides that, there is another habit that can also help us to achieve effectiveness in study which we will talk in advice number three. Building a habit of reflecting on your behaviors, such as procrastination, can help you to identify the main problem or the trigger that causes that unwanted action in the first place. From that, you can innovate experiments to eliminate that trigger as a result, stop you from doing the harmful actions on your studying process 
and therefore increase your study effectiveness overall. For example, you are reflecting on your procrastination behavior at the end of the week and you realize that whenever you study in your bedroom, you will procrastinate it. You will climb on your bed and did absolutely nothing at all. Therefore, the next time you study, you decided to not study in your bedroom anymore. You finally eliminated that chico, which is your bedroom. As a result, you have been more work than more than ever by procrastinating in your bedroom. I couldn't do have a business review. Reflecting daily or weekly can increase your productivity up to 23 percentages. This means you will be able to complete more work in a shorter period of time and therefore increasing the chance of you meeting your deadline for the assignments or exam revision, which then lead to a reduction of your desired result. Then, to be able to apply new experiments and ideas into your current strategies or studying process, you will need more one other thing, which will lead us to advice number four. If you want to learn new information to apply into your current studying technique or strategy or other aspects of your life, you have to have an open mind. Having an open mind will help you to absorb new information faster and help you to accept the fact that new things could potentially work out if you at least try them. I learned a tip from Justin Su, a popular learning coach and consultant, which can help with that. He said that you should assume that you are always wrong. By assuming this, you will be more willing and open to learn new ideas and can use them to adjust your current techniques or belief to help you become better at what you're doing. And in this case, it is to study more effectively. So that's all of the advices that I have been thinking so hard to share with you guys. I hope you learned something new and helpful from the video. And I wish that you have a, an inspired day and will soon enough reaching the goals that you are aiming for. I will see you in the next one. Take care.